happening? Where am I? Our plan failed. So why am I awake? What is that? It's alive! Wait, is that a human? Uh, uh. <laughs> Where is it going? Hmm. Are you hurt, my child? I am Toriel, caretaker of the ruins. Mom? Come, let me guide you through the catacombs. Mom! Mom, you're here! I never thought I would be so happy to see you! I'm so confused! Why are we in the ruins? Mom, wait! Where are you going? This way. Mom? Toriel? Do you... not hear me? Please adjust yourself to the sight of puzzles. You really can't see me. Hmm? Can you see me? Mm-hmm. Oh. Hmm. Can you read that? Hmm. Only the fearless may proceed. Brave ones, foolish ones. Both walk not the middle road. Hmm. Huh? Would you stop that? It's freaking me out. Oh no. What are you doing now? Ah! Can we follow mom now? Hmm. Here we- It says, stay on the path. Well, they aren't running into walls or anything. And they can do mom's puzzles just fine. Hey, wait a second. Hmm? Try this one instead. Oh my gosh! My child! Here in the underground, monsters may try to attack you. When that happens, you will enter a fight. Simply strike up a friendly conversation until I come to help you. Fight? Other monsters never used to attack unless I started it. Practice talking with this training dummy. You talk to the dummy. It doesn't seem very much for conversation. Toriel looks happy with you. The next room awaits! What the heck was that? Hey Chara, what's the last thing you remember before you woke up in the ruins? After I died, all I can remember is going to the surface to kill some humans. But Azriel stopped me and took us back. Then I woke up like this. Like no time had passed at all. Mom looks just like she did the last time I saw her. She acts the same, too. I don't think I have been gone long. I guess Mom didn't miss me so much after all. I wonder where Dad and Asriel are. I'm sure things will start to make more sense once they show up. Chara, how far away can you wander away from the human? Or are you just following the human and your mom for now? You must walk to the end of this room on your own. Please forgive me. Huh. Let's find out. Mm-hmm. Uh, no. Well, I guess that answers that question, huh? I must go do something. Wait for me here. What? Take this cell phone. What? You're leaving us here? Is that my old cell phone? Be good. Mom, you cannot leave us here. There's nothing to do. What are you doing? Take us home first. Are you calling her? I want to hear, too. Hmm. Call her mom. Uh, oh, would that make you happy to call me mother? Uh, how did you do that? Flirt. That is my mother! It's been a while since mom left. Like, an hour. What are you going to do now? Calling won't do anything. That dog still got her phone. Maybe she's not coming back. What are you going to do then? Or maybe something happened to her. Either way, you'll be waiting here forever. Hmm. 
You disobeyed mom. Ribbit. Ribbit. Uh huh. Hmm? You don't understand, do you? Mm. <sighs> ribbit, ribbit. Excuse me, human. I have some advice for you about battling monsters. If you act a certain way, or fight until you almost defeat them, they might not want to battle you anymore. If a monster does not want to fight you, please use some mercy, human. Ribbit. This monster is too sensitive to fight. Terrorize. Console. Playfully crinkling through the leaves fills you with determination. <laughs> Are you okay? Hmm. I think they're fine. What a meaningful conversation. She's calling again? Hello, this is Toriel. For no reason in particular, which do you prefer? Cinnamon or butterscotch? Oh, I see. Thank you very much. Ugh, this better not be going where I think it is. Okay, let's go. not turn up your nose if- Oh gosh, no. This ghost keeps Z saying Z, 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 Z out loud Z, Z, repeatedly, Z, 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 pretending to sleep. Z, 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 Z. Move it with force? No. Mm. You gotta. Uh. Huh? Uh. Here comes Naps to Blook. This monster doesn't seem to have a sense of humor. Oh, I'm real funny. Napstablook is wishing you weren't here. You should definitely- Wait, what? Can they hear me? Oh. I- Napstablook wants to show you something. Let me just- I usually come to the ruins because there's nobody around. But today I met somebody nice. Oh, I should get out of your way. Did you miss it? Spider bake sale down and to the right. Come eat food made by spiders, for spiders, of spiders? Let's not- Hey! Yuck. You put 7G in the web. Some spiders crawled down and gave you a donut. Blech. Huh. Huh. Uh. You noticed there was a blue switch behind the top pillar. Ugh, why are you so slow at this puzzle? If you had to guess, where do you think Azriel and Asgore are? Hmm, <laughs> they're probably at home playing catch or something silly like that. Waiting for mom to come back. I wonder what she's doing here. I don't remember her spending a lot of time in the ruins before. The ruins look the same as they ever did, with a little more junk laying around than usual. Oh! How did you get here, my child? Are you hurt? I should not have left you alone for so long. It was irresponsible to try to surprise you like this. Er, well, I suppose I cannot hide it any longer. Come, small one. The ruins look entirely different. Seeing such a cute, tidy house in the ruins gives you determination. What is all of this? Surprise! I baked you a butterscotch cinnamon pie to celebrate your arrival. I want you to have a nice time living here. Living here? Here, I have another surprise for you. This is it, a room of your own. I hope you like it. Mom? Uh, oh, is something burning? Um, make yourself at home. Mom? Mom, hold on! Don't! What the heck is this? This is home! Not home. Where are Dad and Azrael? Hmm. Ugh. What the heck is going on here? Nothing makes any sense. I know you're not going to get it because you don't know anything, but this is wrong. This is all wrong. Mom's living here in this house that's practically identical to our home and acting like you're her kid now. Why is she doing that? Where the heck are the others? And where are Dad and Azrael? I demand an explanation! I demand... Uh... Hmm. I can only look around this room while the kid's here. Everything's so weird. 
All these old toys look like they've never been played with. Empty dresser. All these shoes. No one else in my family even wears shoes! You're up. That's the Bud's pie. Butterscotch cinnamon pie. One slice. You have seen this type of plant before, but do not know what it is called. Quick! While Toriel is occupied, snoop through her room for answers! I bet she's keeping a diary or a log of recent events somewhere. Hmm. It's all skeleton puns. Toriel's small chair. Its name is Cheriel. Typha, a subterranean plant with brown oblong seed pods, more commonly known as a water sausage. Scandalous! Truly the most sundeer of plants. They don't listen to a single thing I have to say. Oh, it's a water sausage. <laughs> Room under renovations. Hmm. Oh. It really is under renovation. Chera, has Frisk expressed any desire to leave the ruins? If so, how do you feel about that, seeing as you'd have no choice but to follow them? Leaving here would mean learning more about what happened. I'd rather not. We're here with Mom and safe from everything. Whatever's going on, I don't want to know anymore. Oh, you're up! I just wanted to let you know. I am very happy to have you living here. I want to show you all of my books and my favorite bug hunting spot. Oh, did you want something? When can I go home? What? What? This is your home now. Um, why don't I tell you about this book I'm reading? It is called 1000 Uses for Snails. How about it? Don't do this. Sure. How to Exit the Ruins. How about an exciting snail fact? Did you know that snails talk really slowly? Just kidding. Snails don't talk. Interesting. Yeah. How to exit the ruins. I have something to do. Stay here. This is a bad idea. We shouldn't go down here. Come on. We can still go back. We can't disobey... Mom? You wish to know how to return home, do you not? Ahead of us lies the end of the ruins, a one-way exit to the rest of the underground. I am going to destroy it. No one will ever be able to leave again. Now be a good child and go upstairs. No, wait! Every human that falls down here meets the same fate. I have seen it again and again. They come they leave. They die. You naive child. If you leave the ruins, they, Asgore, will kill you. <gasps> I am only protecting you. Do you understand? Go to your room. What? Asgore will kill- No! That's wrong! No, he- Dad would never- I don't understand! No, no, stop! No, stop following her! Just do what she says! I don't want to go! Don't make me go! Let me stay! Stop it! Stop! I'm scared! Do not try to stop me. This is your final warning. Please, just go back. Do what she says. Nothing I do can stop them. You want to leave so badly? You are just like the others. There is only one solution to this. I just want to stay. I don't want to. Prove yourself. What? Prove to me that you are strong enough to survive. You tried to think of something to say again, but Toriel looks through you. Uh. Ironically, talking does not seem to be the solution in this situation. Uh. Uh. 
I told you, talking won't do anything. Huh. Hmm. No. Hmm. Wait. Toriel is acting aloof. Hmm. They won't fight. So what will they do now? <laughs> what are you doing? Attack or run away? What are you proving this way? Fight me or leave! Stop it. Stop looking at me that way. I know you want to go home, but... But please, go upstairs now. I promise I will take good care of you here. I know we do not have much, but... We can have a good life here. Why are you making this so difficult? Please, go upstairs. <laughs> Pathetic, is it not? I cannot save even a single child. No, I understand. You would just be unhappy trapped down there. The ruins are very small once you get used to them. It would not be right for you to grow up in a place like this. My expectations, my loneliness, my fear. For you, my child, I will put them aside. If you truly wish to leave the ruins, I will not stop you. However, when you leave, please, do not come back. I hope you understand. Goodbye, my child. <sighs> Bye, Mom. This kid is weird, for a human. I've never met one that was so unwilling to hurt anybody. They're so nice and trusting to everyone that it's kind of disgusting, but I'm stuck with them. Whether I want to or not, I have to go wherever they go, so I guess I'll have to see how far they can make it down here, and I guess I'll find out exactly what's going on, too. Clever. Very clever. You think you're really smart, don't you? In this world, it's kill or be killed. So you were able to play by your own rules. You spared the life of a single person. A talking flower? <laughs> I bet you feel really great. You didn't kill anyone this time. But what will you do if you meet a relentless killer? You'll die and you'll die and you'll die until you tire of trying. What will you do then? Will you kill out of frustration? Or will you give up entirely on this world and let me inherit the power to control it? I am the prince of this world's future. Don't worry, my little monarch. My plan isn't regicide. This is so much more interesting. This is Snowden Forest. It looks pretty desolate. No one visits around here anymore. I guess because they can't get in. Huh? Huh? Hmm? There's a camera hidden in the bushes. Why would someone leave this old camera right here? Is it because... Huh? Right. We should keep moving. <laughs> it's a tough looking branch. It's too heavy to pick up. Just leave it. There's nothing else out here at all. It's so boring. Hmm. Huh. <laughs> hey, do you want to hear a song? It's an old human song. You might know it. It goes like this. You're walking in the woods. There's no one around and your phone is dead. Out of the corner of your eye, you spot him. Shia LaB- Huh? Huh? It's been smashed. Like it was nothing. Right. Good idea. Call Toriel. Maybe she'll take us back in. 
Nobody picked up. We can just keep walking. Once we find a town, we'll be fine, right? Huh? Walk faster! Walk faster! Come on! Others can't be far away! What? What are you waiting for? Don't just stand there! Come on! You think this is actually stopping us? It's huge! Just go through! Human, don't you know how to greet a new pal? Turn around and shake my hand. <laughs> the old whoopee cushion in the hand trick. It's always funny. Anyways, you're a human, right? That's hilarious. I'm Sans. Sans the skeleton. Is this guy serious? I'm actually supposed to be on watch for humans right now, but, you know, I don't really care about capturing anybody. Now my brother, Papyrus, he's a human hunting fanatic. Hey, actually, I think that's him over there. I have an idea. Go through this gate thingy. Yeah, go right through. My bro made the bars too wide to stop anyone. Told you so. Quick, behind that conveniently shaped lamp. This lamp is supposed to hide us? What's up, bro? You know what's up, brother! Oh, shoot. It's been eight days, and you still haven't recalibrated your puzzles! You just hang around outside your station! What are you even doing? Staring at this lamp. It's really cool. You wanna look? No! I don't have time for that! What if a human comes through here? I want to be ready! I will be the one! I must be the one! I will capture a human! Then I, the Great Papyrus, will get all the things I utterly deserve! Respect! Recognition! I will finally be able to join the Royal Guard! People will ask to be my friend? I will bathe in a shower of kisses every morning. Hmm. Maybe this lamp will help you. Just capture us already. He does see us, right? Sans, you are not helping, you lazy bones. All you do is sit and boondoggle. You get lazier and lazier every day. Hey, take it easy. I've gotten a ton of work done today. A skeleton. Sans! Come on, you're smiling. <sighs> I am and I hate it! <sighs> Why does someone as great as me have to do so much just to get some recognition? Wow, sounds like you're really working yourself down to the bone. Ah! I will attend to my puzzles. As for your work, put a little more backbone into it! <laughs> Okay, you can come out now. Just a conveniently shaped lamp. Very conveniently. You ought to get going. He might come back. And if he does, you'll have to sit through more of my hilarious jokes. What's the holdup? Look, there's nothing to be afraid of. It's just a dark cavern filled with skeletons and horrible monsters. <sighs> Actually, hey, hate to bother you, but can you do me a favor? I was thinking... My brother's been kind of down lately. He's never seen a human before, and seeing him might just make his day. Don't worry, he's not dangerous, even if he tries to be. Thanks a million. I'll be up ahead. Uh, weird old skeleton. The convenience of that lamp still fills you with determination. Hey, it's about time you got cleaned up. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, Dr. Gaster! Long time no see! What? Snowdrake flutters forth. We've been at this for ages. You've done everything but check. Why not give that a shot? Uh, heckle! You tell the Snowdrake that no one will ever love them the way they are. They struggle to make a retort and slink away utterly crushed. Haha, <laughs> wow, you super messed that one up. How does that make you feel? It's a fishing rod affixed to the ground. Reel it in? All that's attached to the end is a photo of a weird-looking monster. Call me. 
Here's my number. You decide not to call. A worn pink leather glove for five-fingered folk. It increases your attack by five. So, as I was saying about Undyne... Eh? Sans, oh my god, is that a human? Uh, actually, I think that's a rock. Oh. Hey, what's that in front of the rock? Oh my god, is... is that a human? Yes. Oh my god! Sans, I finally did it! Undyne will... I'm gonna... I'll be so... popular! 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 Him, Human! You shall not pass this area! I, the Great Papyrus, will stop you! I will then capture you! You will be delivered to the capital! Then... Then... I'm not sure what's next. In any case, continue! Only if you dare! <laughs> well, that went well. That's it? Don't sweat it, kid. I'll keep an eye socket out for you. There's some narration on this cardboard box. Ahem. You observe the well-crafted sentry station. Who could have built this, you ponder? I bet it was that very famous royal guardsman. Note, not yet a very famous royal guardsman. <laughs> Pretty good, right? Hey, Kara. Do you feel like you're being watched? Hmm? Uh, huh. Hmm? What? Huh? Absolutely no moving! Huh? Oh no. I guess we're trapped here forever. Hmm. Just walk. Nothing's going to get you. I sweat. Huh? Did something move? Was it my imagination? I can only see moving things. If something was moving... For example, a human. I'll make sure it never moves again. Don't move an inch! Oops. Doggo can't seem to find anything. What are you thinking? No, ah, uh, Doggo has been pet. What? I've been pet! This is something pet me. Something that isn't m moving. I'm gonna need some dog treats for this. You are going to kill yourself. Hmm. Hello, I am a snowman. I want to see the world, but I cannot move. If you would be so kind, Traveler, please take a piece of me and bring it very far away. That's not how things work? That's not how seeing new places works? Yes. Thank you. Good luck. This is a really special kind of messed up. You're so lazy. Here we go again. You were napping all night. I think that's called sleeping. Excuses, excuses. Oh ho, the human arrives. In order to stop you, my brother and I have created some puzzles. I think you will find this one quite shocking. For as you see, this is the invisible electricity maze. When you touch the walls of this maze, this orb will administer a hearty zap. Sounds like fun? Because the amount of fun you will probably be having is actually rather small, I think. Okay, you can go ahead now. Oh shoot, he's serious. Careful, there has to be some kind of clue, right? <laughs> Sans, what did you do? I think the human has to hold the orb. Oh, okay. <laughs> hold this, please. <laughs> okay, try now. No way. Incredible, you slippery snail. You solved it so easily. Too easily. However, the next puzzle will not be easy. 
It is designed by my brother Sans. You will surely be confounded. I know I am. <laughs> I am ready. Hey, thanks. My brother seemed like he's having fun. By the way, did you see that weird outfit he's wearing? We made that a few weeks ago for our costume party. He hasn't worn anything else since. Keeps calling it his battle body. Man, isn't my brother cool? <laughs> I don't understand why these aren't selling. It's the perfect weather for something cold. Oh, a customer! Hello, would you like some nice cream? It's the frozen treat that warms your heart. Now just 15 G. Here you go. Have a super duper day. I know you're dressed warm and all, but isn't it a little cold for that? <laughs> oh dear. You barely lifted your hand and Lesser Dog got excited. Lesser Dog is barking excitedly. You pet the dog. Its excitement knows no bounds. You have to jump to pet the dog. There is no way to stop this madness. I've been thinking about selling treats too. Want some fried snow? It's just 5G. Bye. Did I say 5G? I meant 50G. Fried snow isn't even... Bye. Really? How about 5,000G? Bye. 50,000G. That's my final offer. Bye. What? You don't have the money? Hey, that's okay. I don't have any snow. Yo, Kara, Frisk, play the ball game and see how many times it takes to get the red flag to pop up. Bravery, justice, integrity, kindness, perseverance, patience. Using these, you were able to win at ball game. You are awarded 50. Oh, happy day. Aren't you looking tall, dark, and handsome? Black really brings out your bones. Ah, uh, how disgusting. What? This timeline has you and me paired together? What a joke. As if I'd have such low standards. <laughs> oh, I see. You're that other papyrus, right? What a pleasure. And here's my thank you. Now Alphys is going to have to redo my chassis, and I'll be needing a new look. Since, well, if that little stunt told me anything, it's that, just by looking at me, you could tell. I like to play rock dog. So, I hear you have a crush on Phil. So what I do, it's none of your concern. I just wanted to give you a tip for dating Phil. Don't! Wowie! Brother, I can't believe you woke up before me. Can you tell me the weather? Sure, bro. It's a bit muggy out today. Sans, if all the mugs are out in the yard, I swear to Asgore I'm moving out. They're not. Okay, brother. I'll take your word. Sans! <laughs> Goodness lesson number one. You see, someone dropped their wallet. Sans dropped the wallet. Now, what would you do? Excuse me, sir, but I do believe you've dropped your wallet. Doesn't look familiar to me. What? I just saw you drop it. Here. Nope, it's not mine. It is yours. I am trying to be a good person and return it to you. Return what to who? <sighs> Aren't you Sans a skeleton? Yup. And this is your ID. Yup. I found this ID in this wallet. And if that's the case, this must be your wallet. That makes sense to me. Then take it. It's not my wallet. You'll take back your wallet or I'll rip your arms off. Nah, wrong. Good <laughs> people don't rip other people's arms off. <laughs> huh? You're sparing me? Mm-hmm. <sighs> Finally. Buddy. Pal, I know how hard it must be to make that choice. To go back on everything you've worked up to. I want you to know I won't let it go to waste. 
Come here, pal. Do it. <sighs> what? Get dunked on. If we really are friends, you won't come back.